All right, in this video, I'm going to do an example related to oblique asymptotes. And recall that oblique asymptotes occur when the degree of the numerator is one larger than the degree of the denominator. So that's certainly what we have in this case. Um, first off, I'm going to find any vertical asymptotes. So vertical asymptotes, um, basically I just set the denominator equal to 0. That would give me, in this case, x equals 1. And I know that if you plug 1 in, you get 0 on the bottom. I also have to make sure that if you plug 1 in, we don't get 0 on the top. And notice if you plug 1 in, we would get 1 plus 4, which is 5, plus 7, which is 12, over 0. We have something non-zero over 0. That tells me that x equals 1, in this case, is a vertical asymptote. Again, since the numerator is larger degree than the denominator, that tells me that there are no horizontal asymptotes. So no horizontal asymptotes since the degree of the, of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator. Okay, so last but not least, we said uh, there is an oblique asymptote since the numerator is one larger than the denominator. And to find it, I basically just have to do the division. Well, to do the division, um, since there's just a linear term on the bottom, I think I'm going to use synthetic division. So there's our 1x squared, our positive 4x, and our positive 7. Uh, again, we see x minus 1, but we use plus 1. So if I drop the 1 down, 1 times 1 is 1. We add, we get 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Uh, this will give us a 12. Again, we, start, we started with something squared. So this would be our x term, and this would be um, our constant, and this would be our remainder. So it says, really, we can write x squared plus 4x plus 7 divided by x minus 1. It says we can rewrite that as 1x plus 5 with a remainder of 12, or we could have written it as x plus 5 plus 12 over x minus 1, but the idea is once you've done the long division, forget about the remainder. Whatever's out front, um, whatever you get when you do the long division, if you omit the remainder, um, that's going to be your oblique asymptote. So remember, our oblique asymptote is just a line. So it says, in this case, our oblique asymptote would be the line y equals x plus 5. So there is one vertical asymptote at um, x equals positive 1. Again, we said there were no, no horizontal asymptotes at all. And then we've got our oblique asymptote of y equals x plus 5. 